Hi everybody, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of PolicyPack Software. And in this video, I'm going to show you how PolicyPack integrates with Zen Desktop. So what we're going to do first is uh, let's get logged on to my Zen Desktop here. I'll just uh, do what probably a lot of your users do. Um, you know, I know every environment's a little bit different, but here's my Zen Desktop here. And I'll log on with uh, my username and my password and my domain name. And I'll get the same thing your users probably get. Okay, here in this case, I've got two machines. Uh, the one on the right is my admin workstation, and the one on my left is my user workstation. So let's go and uh, let's first configure. Uh, actually, let's, uh, well, why don't we start off with what the user experience looks like? We'll go ahead and log on to this machine first, and uh, this is without Policy Pack uh, engaged. So let's go ahead and run this here. And you can see I'm connecting to my uh, Zen desktop here. And again, this is just a regular user's desktop. Okay, here we are. You can see uh, I've got my regular Zen desktop with my little uh, Zen desktop welcome screen here. I'll go ahead and close that here. Um, and you can see I've got all these applications that users might have on their Zen desktop. And again, uh, the promise of Zen desktop is that their desktop can be anywhere and so can their applications. And that's yet another opportunity for users to mess things up and to make your life very difficult. So let me go ahead and uh, we'll run WinZip here on, on this Zen desktop here. And again, uh, you can see here that the policy pack is not engaged, uh, but there's a lot of places for users to make mistakes and to possibly screw things up. So that's the first application that we'll configure. Then uh, let's go ahead and run Firefox here. Firefox, yet a, another very popular application uh, for a user to use. Uh, we can just go and see that uh, the user can go ahead and manipulate anything they want and screw up the settings that are very important to them uh, on on all of their Zen desktops. And Acrobat Reader, let's go ahead and click on that guy here and we'll go to Edit Preferences. And, and once again, you know, you want to make sure that uh, security is always guaranteed on on these applications and perhaps uh, in a lot of cases you want to turn off the updater functions. So uh, as you can see here, it's got automatically install updates, which you probably don't want. So we'll go ahead and close this out and let's switch gears and let me go ahead and log on to my machine, the administrator console, and uh, start applying some policy pack settings to uh, this user on this computer uh, and uh, some settings within them. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right. So to show you that, uh, I'm going to have to close this guy out just for now. We'll come back to him in a second. Go ahead and click disconnect. All right, so go ahead and click on my my computer, the one that, that runs the GPMC here. And you can see it's connecting through Zen Desktop right here. Okay, so here we are on my machine. What we'll do is we'll take, uh, you know, we'll do what we do in uh, a lot of our other policy pack videos. We'll, we'll take our pre-configured policy packs for the example here. And uh, we've got a lot of them. The ones that uh, I've sort of isolated here are Acrobat and Firefox and WinZip. So um, again, on your own machine or in the central store, you'll go to C colon backslash program files policy pack. And you've probably seen me do this in other videos. And in the extensions folder, I'll go ahead and just move that over there. And I'll take this guy and move it over here like they do in those fun Windows commercials. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and take Acrobat Reader 10. And what we're looking for is the, uh, the DLL. So we'll go ahead and take the Acrobat Reader DLL and we'll copy it over to our machine. So we'll go ahead and copy that guy. Yep, that's cool. And then we'll go ahead and take the Firefox DLL. These are the pre-configured policy packs that we already have. And again, you could, uh, you know, you can create the ones that you need to using our own policy pack design studio if that's interesting for you. And we'll also take WinZip and we'll take its DLL. Okay, there we go. So we've got the three policy packs that we want to configure here. And we'll go ahead and close those out and we're ready to go. So I'll go ahead and under my group policy objects node, I'll go ahead and create a new GPO called uh, Lockdown Zen Desktops. Okay. And uh, the, this can be an existing group policy object or uh, um, 
one that you've just created new like I have here. So I'll go ahead and right click, lock down my Zen desktops, click edit here. And like in our other policy pack videos, you just dive down under the user side or computer side policy pack applications. Let's go ahead and make those changes happen. We'll go to new application and look at all the ones we've got here. We, uh, I forgot, I already had pushed a couple of these policy packs into the central store. And I also have some that are local. So I've got uh, policy packs available to me from, from two places now, which is super nice. So I'll go ahead and pick Acrobat Reader X here. We'll do that one first. And we'll go ahead, we'll use the one I just copied in from the local store, that's fine. And we'll go ahead and click there. And let's see, what do we want to configure? I think the first thing, of course, that we want to configure is that updater. Let's turn that thing off. Let's do not download and install updates automatically. Let's go ahead and do that guy. And while we're here, we'll also disable the corresponding control in the target application. Let's go ahead and do that so a user can't possibly screw that up. And we'll also, for JavaScript, we want to uncheck JavaScript. And we also want to disable the corresponding control. We'll go ahead and do that. So we'll do two things in Acrobat Reader. And we'll go to uh, another application here. We'll go to uh, New App. And we'll go ahead and pick a WinZip here. And yep, I already had that one in the central store too. But we'll go ahead and use the local storage one as well. And we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do some things you've seen me probably do in some other videos. I'll click on these guys. I'll move this guy up to 11, making password strength 11. I will disable this one and uh, I'll I'll hide that setting. And for cameras, I will right click and disable the whole tab in cameras. So I've gone ahead and done that. And now for Firefox, we're just going to right click new application. We'll pick Firefox as well here. We'll go ahead and also pick the local storage one. We're just going to go ahead and set up the, uh, the home page and we'll call, we'll just do policypack.com. We'll go ahead and just set that up. And we can set security options the way we want to. We can guarantee uh, various security options if that's important to us. I'll go ahead and click OK. And that's it. Um, the next thing I want to do is simply uh, link this GPO over to where my Zen desktop uh, users or computers are. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click over my Zen desktop POC. I'm going to link an existing group policy object here. And this one, we called it uh, Lockdown Zen Desktops. There we go. And that's it. So we can see we've got uh, Lockdown Zen Desktops. So that's it. So let me go ahead and I'm done here. I'll go ahead and disconnect from my own machine here and we'll head on over to the client now, back to the client machine. Okay, we'll go back to our client machine here. We'll launch his Zen desktop session here. So now that we're logged in here, let's go ahead and uh, run a command prompt. And we could be logging in for the very first time, or uh, we could already be logged on and just get a, a group policy update like we're about to do, or just wait 90 minutes in the background. Any of these things is going to cause a group policy refresh. And when group policy refreshes, so does policy pack. So you can see we get the group policy update successfully, and now we're ready to uh, test out our apps. Let's, uh, in no particular order, let's, uh, let's go over to Firefox first. So we'll go to, uh, uh, let's see, options and general, and there we go. We got the policy pack as the home page, just as we told it to do. That's good news. And if we were to look at security, it would guarantee those settings. So that's one application that we just did inside of Zen Desktop. We'll go into, uh, uh, we'll go into WinZip next. We'll go to options config here. And we'll go to the passwords tab. Sure enough, we've increased the maximum password length to 11 characters. And we've unchecked these checkboxes and checked other ones as well. And uh, cameras, you can see we've totally locked out the cameras tab. No way to uh, do anything uh, in there as a user. And again, that's important. If you're extending Zen Desktop to a variety of uh, alternate devices, you want to make sure that uh, the settings that you deliver are going to be on all devices. Therefore, that's why you have Zen Desktop. And last but not least, we'll go and we'll check out Acrobat Reader, Adobe Reader rather. And we'll go to Edit Preferences here. Let's take a look. Oh, there's Updater. You can see we've uh, set it to do not download and install updates automatically before we're set up to automatically install updates. And we've locked it down so a user can't work around it. And I think we also changed the JavaScript one. Yep, sure enough, no way for a user to uh, enable that Adobe uh, Acrobat JavaScript security hole. So with that in mind, as you can see, uh, Policy Pack works 
perfectly with Zen Desktop. We are part of the operating system. We just install as a client-side extension. You would install that in, inside your base image. And uh, then whenever you wanted to, you could create a new GPO, link it over to either your users or computers, and you'll be fully locked down inside both Zen Desktop and also your uh, real live installed desktops and laptops. So I hope this uh, explains how Policy Pack works with Zen Desktop. And if you have any questions, I'm here to help. This is, again, Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of Policy Pack Software. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.